you're applying anhydrous ammonia in your farm this fall, safety should be your number one concern. Here are a few tips in today's Iron Talk. The word anhydrous means without water. When it comes in contact with your skin, it can cause rapid dehydration and severe burns. Keeping this in mind is really the biggest key for safety. Wear personal protective equipment. I know, you've been handling anhydrous for a long time and you feel pretty confident. That's all the more reason to avoid having problems. It's pretty simple. Wear tight-fitting, chemical-proof goggles or a full-face respirator. Rubber gloves that can protect against ammonia are also a must. Coveralls or a heavy work shirt are advised as well. Take a few extra minutes every day also to thoroughly inspect the equipment before each use. Look for cracks on hoses or signs of wear or slippage around the couplers. While most experienced operators aren't scared of a little product in the lines, you are taking a risk if you don't purge the lines each time that you unhook or inspect them. Also, check the toolbar quick coupler regularly and replace as recommended or as wear dictates. When switching from tank to tank, make sure that your hoses are the proper length. Also, always use the safety chains and hitch pin with the safety clip to ensure that the hoses aren't stretched and a tank never comes unhooked. When you're moving to and from fields, the best advice is just not to drive over 25 miles per hour. If you do that, you'll be a lot safer. Now, if you follow all these recommendations, accidents are unlikely. But if you do have one, farmers and custom applicators are required to report the incident to regulatory agencies. So be careful out there and be safe if you're using anhydrous ammonia this fall. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.